Hi guys, welcome to Tools on Go! Um, yeah guys, this episode is about natural hair do's and don'ts and let's get straight to it. First things first, okay I'm going to start with the don'ts and then I'll do the do's. First things first, don't be rough with your hair because um, ultimately like our hair is very like, although it could be coarse, it's very like hair is hair. If you pull it too much from the hair follicles, you know you hurt yourself and that means you hurt your hair follicles. So just always like try be gentle whether you are like undoing braids, whether you are trying to wash it, whether you're trying to detangle it, always 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 be gentle. Number two, don't be judgmental of like other people's natural hair or your own hair because I've come to a realization that like most of the time if you like starting a new hair journey or whatever like you tend to obviously like now you're starting to show interest in your hair so you google like things like curl patterns you google things like what you should use what you shouldn't use and most of the time like you see girls with like really pretty springy curls or very like well nourished or whatever the case is the thing is not all of us actually no one has the same hair as anyone else you know yes you can have the same curl type or think you have the same curl type or think you have the same texture or porosity but ultimately your hair is your hair so never compare your hair to anyone else's hair because you'll never be content with your hair you know what i mean um the best quote for this actually is comparison is the thing number three don't use like harsh chemicals on your hair mainly things like relaxers um, peroxides and stuff um, because that really 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 like takes a huge toll on your hair it most of the time it breaks it it makes it like brittle it causes split ends it causes it to be very very dry frizzy so it just like makes you like it takes out all the life out of your hair and ultimately we're trying to have like pop and fro pop and fro you know so always like bear in mind that if you want to like straighten your hair or whatever rather like use natural things like a comb because a comb will, like you'll never go wrong with a comb you know number four don't use heat on your hair because heat also contributes a lot on like like the texture of your hair how brittle it is or how strong it is you know so the more you use like straighteners hair dryers or whatever to have it straight and like you know silky that really can damage like natural hair because ultimately your fro is going up it's not trying to go down so if you force it to go down obviously now you're messing with you know the things so yeah just don't like always resort to Heat because I know sometimes like if they say someone's having a wedding or whatever and you don't want to like put a weave then by all means you can straighten your hair or whatever or curl it with like a curl a hot curl but I would personally never like recommend anyone to use heat on their hair because it also like stunts its growth number five don't overwash your hair because overwashing your hair has a lot of cons instead of pros the first one is it causes a lot of dandruff and I mean if you're trying to have healthy looking springy coils or natural hair you're not trying to have like a lot of dandruff because it's just it takes off all the color and it's also dandruff is very itchy secondly um if you overwash that contributes to a dry, dry scalp because your hair creates its own like natural oils and you know like nutrients so if you overwash it it just strips off all your natural nutrients from your hair so yeah just wash your hair only twice a month because that's the recommended um like number of times to wash your hair and also remember that if you have like protective hairstyles if you have whatever if you have something on your hair bear in mind that you, you need to wash it whether you have protective styles or not because ultimately whether you have braids or not your hair still growing your hair still needs love guys you gotta stay loving your soul guys but love is important dudes number one always always moisturize your hair guys that goes without saying it doesn't matter how the weather is or how you are feeling or who you are mad at you have to always moisturize your hair like that's that's like saying am i gonna eat today you have to eat it's you, you can't choose not to eat it's 
that's the same with your hair like moisturizers like food that's why I think like they started calling it hair food because it's legit hair food number two use sulfate free shampoos why I say that is because sulfate actually strips your hair off of its natural oils so it makes you strip your hair dry your scalp dry like it just makes your hair dry and if your hair's dry that means it's gonna break it's gonna be frizzy and whatever so always like every time you buy like products check its ingredients because you also you don't want to use things that are said to be good for natural hair but when you read the ingredients they're not reading ingredients is very important number three apply a leave-in conditioner after washing and conditioning hair that basically like makes your hair be able to absorb all like the moisturizers and the oils that you're going to use for it so leave-in conditioner is actually very important after washing and conditioning because you need normal conditioner and then leave-in conditioner number four use a silk pillow why i say that is because if you use cotton cotton basically absorbs all the like moisture and the you know moisturizer from your hair so silk and silk or satin actually doesn't so that's usually what you should use as a duke okay in zulu we call it dukes but i know americans or other people call it durax or something like that um yeah so that just like it retains all the moisture in your hair in your hair number five always always be gentle with your hair guys um that's very important and how like one way you could be gentle with your hair is use a wide tooth comb why i say that is because if you use like the small tooth combs they usually tend to like cause a lot of friction and tension on your hair so it pulls more than it would if you used a wide tooth comb uh, also, also remember that when you like plait your hair um advise the people that plait your hair not to like plait you up until the brum of your corp because then that like that removes all the sensitive hair and well your edges are the most sensitive hair on your head so you always have to like take care of your edges because those are like babies and they stay babies for life so yeah guys just always be gentle with your hair even when you undo your hair like don't pull don't have a tendency of pulling because that really like takes a toll on your scalp and it's, it's just it's just not good for you anyway thank you so much for tuning in guys i truly appreciate the support guys you don't even understand and yeah guys please subscribe to the page please like 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 guys let's push those tweets like likes to maybe 7500 nyana like you go off man and yeah guys please share as much as possible because like i said ultimately we're trying to get like we're trying to create awareness for natural hair and its care so yeah guys thank you bye